Hey farm fans, today we're doing a project in the garage. We have uh, another snow plow that I bought. I believe this one was a western, uh, the other one's a fisher plow. Um, but uh, I bought this and uh, it was supposed to be set up for a three point hitch so that you could uh, plow snow with your tractor. Um, I kind of got it as a second plow, kind of a backup type of thing um, but uh, it needs a little bit of modification to it the way that they design this let me put these over here a second hang on there you go okay so the way that the this was designed and uh, it doesn't work for me was uh, you know you have these three point hits you have the two lift arms and then you have your top link that comes down so you have the three points there. Um, well, there's obviously the two, two lift arms hook on here, but the top link, the way they designed this, was that this would hook into your top link coming down from the tractor, and then your chain hooks in here. Uh, the idea is I, I want, in the end, I want the blade to be able to float. I don't want to put down pressure on it, anything like that. You know, with all the gravel that I have out there, um, the least amount that I end up scraping and, and getting rid of, the better. So, uh, but the issue with this design is that when you pick these arms up, nothing picks up the center arm. They all need to go up together. So what would happen is eventually you'd pick up, pick up, pick up, and this would eventually stretch and, you know, it would pick up the plow, but instead of the plow coming up fairly level, it's going to come up in the air like this. So what I want to do, um, just like the other file that, oops, that's on the skid steer, uh, we want to take and build a frame here. So we're going to come up, um, put some angle iron in the corners. We're going to come up 16 inches, put another piece across, and then we're going to take this piece that they gave us, and we're going to weld that across there. So now our center link of the three-point hitch, the top link, uh, when these two arms go up, the, cen the center one, the top link, will automatically go up as well, and the plow is going to lift up a lot more level than it would have the way this is. So that's the, uh, the project for today. Let's see if I can get you off of here with this crazy magnet here. There we go. So... Um, so here's the, I have an old piece of angle iron here, um, just a little bit of surface rust, a little light pitting, it's not bad. I mean, this is not a show piece. I'm not selling the plow or anything like that, it's just a farm plow. So, and I did, uh, that piece isn't going to be long enough. So I did have a new piece of uh, steel uh, angle iron sitting over there. I keep some kind of scrap pieces, um, different sizes, shapes in case I need to do like a miscellaneous repair. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get all these. There's going to be three pieces. Uh, as I said, we'll have the two pieces coming up on each side here. You know, we'll put them right in the corner there, coming up this way, and then same thing over here. So that'd be one, two, and then we'll have a top angle iron, three. So I'll, what I'll work on right now is getting those three pieces cut and uh, ready to go. So I'll be back to you. Okay, so we got all of our pieces cut here. Uh, just kind of lay them out quick. You can see what it's going to look like. We'll have our left side and our right side. And they'll kind of fit together like this. 
and then these two bottoms will fit down into these two corners here and we'll come up and over and then we'll weld our last little top link piece up on top here so that's kind of the plan now what I need to do is go through you can kind of see there's you know some surface rust on there um, and this has just a little bit of scaly stuff on it so I need to go through get these cleaned up and I also need to take the paint off down here in these little areas uh, wherever we're going to do some welding so we'll get those guys cleaned up we'll get this the paint off cleaned up so we'll be ready to weld Okay, so we got our pieces cleaned up a little bit, just where the uh, the welds are going to be. And I got it kind of laid out here on the table. So this will be the, the top piece going across. We got our magnets in, so we have the 90s. Um, I measured the distance from there to there. So it'll fit inside from there to there. Oops. From, um, so what we're going to do is... We're going to gently tack this together on the outside then we'll take the magnets out and we'll go do kind of a test fit because i'm not sure if these corners are exactly 90 and we got some welds down in here to kind of deal with too so we'll, we'll just kind of tack it together and that way i can tap it a little bit you know to tweak it here and there to get it to fit before we'll do like a final weld on the top so uh, that's the next plan here ponder this for a minute here but you start you can start to see the idea um, let me just get the final adjustments done here on the bottom where I want it to be and then I'll finish welding all these welds up on the top here Mmm. -hmm. 
got our welds cleaned up. They're not half bad. Not not too bad. Using uh, stick welding 7018. Just just got uh, the old buzz box here. I'd like to update that with something else, but uh, I'm just working on kind of cleaning them up. There was a lot of little ones I did all around. Everything's still kind of hot, so I'm going to finish cleaning those up, and then we'll do our test fit on the plow and maybe get that tacked on there too. Okay, we got our top piece welded on there. And for some reason, it ended up being a little crooked. I'm not sure why. I had the uh, little square, magnetic square on here, but for some reason it looks like it's turned just a little bit. But, I mean, it's not gonna make much of a difference. So, again, it's just a, a plow, but everything is nice and solid on there i thought about adding some additional bracing in here and stuff but honestly i think it's going to be all right like that um you know the force of plow and snow is going to be down here on these two arms here that's where all the main pushing is going to be so uh up here the top piece is mainly just going to be for sort of lifting it up and down so i think it'll be all right I could be wrong, um, you know, only time will tell. So right now what I'm going to do is wire brush everything down, get it cleaned up, and we're going to throw some primer on it and then some paint to get it painted up. So I'll be back. Okay, so we got our primer done. We used uh, Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer. I did two coats of that. So now we're just going to use the Rust-Oleum Gloss Black to kind of match the, uh, the rest of the plow there. We'll get a couple of coats of that on. So let me get this uh, shook up and we'll get going. All right, well, I think we got this project about wrapped up here. There's sort of the finished product, good, bad, and different, whatever. We'll see if it holds up here. I got uh, two coats of black paint on it. It's still a little tacky, but it's, um, you can see the windows there in the garage. It's nighttime now, so we're not gonna use it today anyway. Um, I got the chain hooked up, but that's that's sort of the idea this side stays stationary and that allows the the blade to float so we have two hydraulic hoses there that'll hook up to the back of the tractor uh you know to angle angle the blade but that's the general idea so project we'll call it well done for now we'll get okay so i realized i made a mistake here um i had kind of started welding this whole unit on here fast and I realized the geometry of that was not going to work so what I ended up doing was uh, grinding the welds back off and I bolted it so that it can move 
and um, again that that's just going to kind of help with the geometry of allowing the plow blade to float so um, in the video where we do some snow plowing I'll try and uh, make sure I kind of point that out how that's working to so understand a little bit better but I just wanted to throw that in there that I did make that mistake and uh, again I had to uh, I put two grade 8 bolts in uh, one on each side there kind of as a hinge um, so that that thing uh, that bracket there has some flexibility so um, we will be trying this out uh, probably the next video it is currently snowing outside again you guessed it uh, we had just got a snowstorm what was it four or five days ago I don't know I don't even want to remember when it was but we got 18 inches of snow so we got that taken care of and uh, I said you know I wanted to get this done in case I needed a backup or I needed to go plow somebody out you know down the road further than I want to take this skid steer so that was kind of the idea behind this but so we'll try it out there'll be a video coming up uh, of us hooking up to this and giving it a try we'll have a few adjustments to make on it uh, get everything dialed in but we will be trying that so if you want to if you want to see that video click that subscribe button down below and also remember there is uh, once you do that there will be a little bell icon next to it click that and then you'll get notifications for when our videos post which are usually uh, Tuesdays and Fridays right now is what I've been doing so uh, if you have any questions about the build that we did comments leave them down below and I'd like to thank everybody for watching. We'll see you on the next one.